Good evening, everyone. It's Elise. It is Friday. I do not know the date. Probably September 30th. I don't know. 2011. No makeup on. I'm in bed. And I have to get this off my chest. How much I loathe retail people. So I bought the skincare product at Saks Off Fifth. Okay, it's like a discount Saks Avenue. And the way I shop is something had to have started at $1,000 and I need to get it for $27. If it started at $50 and I get it for $27, that doesn't work. Or if it starts out at $27, that doesn't work either. So it's the percentage of discount that I shop for. I've been doing this for years and it's almost paralyzing me because even in the cheap stores, I can't pay full price. Anyway, so I go back and I take this product, this face product in, that's actually burning my face. Like right here, it was burning my face. Everywhere I put it, it was like red, red. So I opened it throughout the box, of course, because I used it. A little bit red, more red, more red, more red. It's like burning. So I bring it back. Of course, I don't have my receipt. But they do keep your information on file. So I brought it in and the girl behind the counter, she's a young girl, she's like, well our policy is we don't take anything back unless it's in the box. I get that. Can I see the manager? Uh, yeah, surely we have a blur. Right, whatever they say. So this woman comes in that I do not like, I'm familiar with her, and she comes up and she starts telling me that, yeah, you already used the product, and so, yeah, it's not possible that we take it back. And I said, well, let me ask you, how was I supposed, it was supposed to know it was going to burn my face? Was I supposed to put the box to my face and see ah, if somehow telepathically I'd know that my face would be on fire? This is what I said to her. So she said, well, no, but we are a discount chain. And I'm like, well, you sell stuff, obviously, that made my face go on fire. I don't even want to return it although I should have just said I want to return it, I wanted to exchange it for a similar product that would possibly work. Well, you know our policy. I'm like, look, are you the manager? And she said, I'm the M manager on duty. I said, you're the MOD? Listen, I was a national sales manager for a giant retail store. National. Not regional, not district, national, right? The buck stopped with me. And then after me was the chick who fucking killed people. So anyway, long story short, they did exchange it. I'm at peace. I leave with the other stuff I bought. I go into another store and I ding. Do you know why I dinged? Because at Saks, they forgot to take that fucking thing off, right? Because I'm going to steal this stupid thing. It was a kid's outfit, a two-year-old kid's outfit, right? So you know that, where am I? You know that thing that if you remove, it blows up and blows blue ink all over your clothes? Well, anyway, this happened to me. This is such a long story. But last year, so what I do is I buy clothes on sale. I just discuss this with you, right? You remember this part? So I'm buying stuff today for next summer because it's all on discount, okay? That's how I shop. Not because I'm cheap, but because I'm crazy. And, yeah, this is what I look like. So, take it or leave it. So, I go back with the product this summer. And I said, do you see this? And I still have the labels on it because I never wore it. It was for my kids. Um, could you, would you mind removing this little thing? Do you have a receipt? Uh, no, I don't have a receipt. But you could see that the, um, your tag's still on it. With, you know, it says Saks and a... Yeah, but how do we know you didn't just pick it up? Bling, 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 bling. Are you accusing me of stealing? No, no, no. Then your question, how do we know we didn't just that you didn't just pick it up meant what? Right, so I'm furious, right? So I said, why the hell? You don't even have this in your store. Why the hell would I steal it to come back 
to the damn store with the stolen goods to have you remove this shit? Do you think if I was a thief, I'd have my own shit remover at my house? Okay, so that's the backstory. Today happens again. So I go back in, this poor girl with the face cream already. I said, you know what, this is not you. Okay, I definitely need to see a manager. <laughs> so this same chick with the face cream comes up. And I said, I'm a good customer. I shop here a lot. Do you see this tag that's on here? And I told her the backstory. And I said, so you know what would have happened had I not gone into justice, which really is, I, I don't know how to say this other than saying it directly because that's how I am. It's almost like a child, it's not a child molester in the touch sense, but in the take advantage of fucking little girl sense. These shirts are $40. I swear to God, if they're worth five cents, these shirts, it's a lot. I don't let my daughter shop there a lot because it's never on sale. Like today I got 40% off. Big deal. If it's not 80-90% off, it's not a discount and I'm training them. So anyway, if I didn't go into justice today, it wouldn't have gone off. So I go back and I said, I asked her again, are you the manager? I'm the manager today. So I said, so you are not the manager. You are just the manager right this second, right? Well, let me tell you a little bit. Like, they want to hear from me, right? I'm ready to give her a life lesson. I'm ready to actually shove my foot in her ass. So I said, did you see this? This is what happened to me last time. Y'all accused me of stealing from you, and you did it to me again. This poor girl right here, whatever her name is, this isn't her fault. This is your fault and your manager's fault because you're not training your people well, right? Because if you were, little Miss Pretty Face, she wouldn't have fucked this up for me again, right? Then I would have gone home. I would have come here next summer. And you would have said, how come I don't know that you didn't just buy it just now? That you didn't just take it? Huh? How do I know you're not some thief? So, this is where I was today. I've been having a horrible, horrible few days. I've been crying. It's been terrible. Just so you know, if you're looking at an update on my personal situation with my husband, my husband actually feels pretty good. He's doing pretty well. We had a very good doctor's visit. My baby daughter... Not my baby, baby, but my big girl daughter. I said to her, um, I was crying. I've been crying for a while now in a row. Talked to my doctor and we're going to get things under control. And I said, um, you know, when will things get better? And I was crying, 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 crying. She held me and she said, Mama, things will get better when you believe it. And I swear, I was like, so proud that uh, this is what I've taught her and this is what my husband's taught her I believe that yesterday I tried to hypnotize myself <laughs> like a crazy person in bed trying to think of um, how everything will be okay how I will take care of my children and how um, they will grow up to be good people and how they will sometimes feel sad but most of the time they'll be happy and tried, I mean I tried so hard I tried to pray I don't pray I have prayed twice. Uh, both times, pretty well. Um, it was spontaneous praying, though. It wasn't like I sat down and thought. It was like, brought me to my knees. I don't know what that was about. Um, but yeah, it's just been horrendous, horrible. And uh, thank you to my friends who have been uh, trying their best um, to help me. Um, and not beyond help, I'm just... Whew, taking an ass beating. But I did go out today. My husband dragged me out only to encounter Saks Off Fifth customer service. What could you do, right? So that's what I have. No makeup. I just put the other stuff on, right? I cleaned my face. I actually washed my face. Go figure. I have something wrong with my eye. It feels like a sty, but I don't think it is. Because that's all I need is a fucking sty, right? Um, and I do this a lot. Just so you know, I'm not a cokehead. Um, but I have this weird drip. I don't know if anybody else has it. I know my father has it. He's been talking about his stupid drip for like five years. And I know I'm slurring but because I'm talking fast or whatever. Because we're already at freaking nine minutes about <laughs> my shopping experience. But anyway, oh, along with the shop. Oh, let me just fill it. One more thing. 
In addition, I'm in line with a man who took a bath in some fucking stinky ass cologne. It wasn't canoe. It wasn't like, um, geo or old spice. Oh my God. It was like this. I wanted to take a spatula and his arm and go, and just get it off. You do not put it like under your balls and maybe behind your neck or something. But to uh, the good part, we want her in an elevator together. So as long as I'm not in an elevator with that, because I'd be the worst. Because I've been in an elevator with myself when I've had gas. <laughs> the first thing I do is I'm like, hon. <laughs> and then he's like, <gasps> and I'm like, yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> like I'd never do that. What the hell's wrong with you? That's ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm laying in bed with my t-shirt on. You know why? Because that's how Elisa's Curious lives. She's very hot. And that's my story. That's my shopping story. So this is why I don't go out of the fucking house. And this is why I shop on Amazon.com. And I go on Blue Fly and all these other crazy sites trying to get 90% off. Oh, God. You gotta love it. Craziness. All right. Love ya.